Good day to our fellow listener today. If you didn't know who I am, it's no other than Michele Chalas, a customs administration student from the MMA College of Southern Philippines. Today's podcast, I will share the process of entrance and clearance of visas engaged in foreign trade. Understanding the procedure in entrance and clearance of visas is important as customs student for us to become a customs broker. It is important because, number one, it is our role as a customs administration student. We are aspired to become a customs broker because one of the future jobs of a customs broker is to be a customs officer. Based on the CMTA Title 7 Chapter 2 Section 1202, control over customs officer over boarding or leaving of incoming vessel and over vessel approaching the former. A customs officer is in charge of the boarding and the leaving vessel so if you don't know the procedure then you are not qualified as customs officer. Number 2. You can facilitate trade efficiently and effectively. You can avoid the delays or procedures during the shipment. And number 3. To avoid smuggling and entry of contraband. If you already understand the process, you can avoid the smuggling in the bureau, especially if you work as customs officer. Upon entrance of vessel at the port of entry in the Philippines, the basic principles we need to observe are number one in the CMTA Title 7, Chapter 2, Section 1201. Vessels and aircrafts engaged in foreign trade shall visit designated ports of entry only except as otherwise, especially allowed by law. Number two, Section 1202 control of customs officer over boarding or leaving of incoming vessels and over other vessel approaching the former. And number three in section 1212 entrance of vessel through necessity. When a vessel from a foreign port is compelled by stress of weather or other necessity to put into any other port than that of its destination, the master within 24 hours after its arrival shall make a protest under oath setting forth the causes or circumstances of such necessity. The following documents to be produced upon entry of vessel can be found and listed in the CMTA Title 7, Chapter 2, Section 1203. The documents to be produced by the master upon entry of vessel. Unloading and loading of cargoes are important in transferring the cargoes either into another vessels or in ports. But we need to consider the following rules and regulations. According to the CMTA Title 7, Chapter 2, Section 1211, unloading of cargo from vessel or aircraft from a foreign port during official non working hours shall be allowed subject to the payment of service fees by shipping lines, airlines, or other interested parties at rates prescribed by the Commissioner. And CMTA Title 7, Chapter 2, Section 1213, Unloading of Vessels in Port from Necessity If situation arises where the unloading of the vessel is required per the June in port, the district collector shall upon sufficient proof of the necessity grant a permit after unloading and loading of cargoes. The Procedure of the Clearance of Vessel in Foreign Port Before a clearance shall be granted to any vessel bound to a foreign port, the master or the agent thereof shall present to the district collector the following properly authenticated documents mentioned in the CMTA Section 1215. And in CMTA Section 1217, Oath of Master of Departing Vessel, in this section, it is mentioned the important rules and regulations to be observed by the master of the departing vessel. The port operation rules and regulation affect the customs broker profession for everyone to know. Ports serve as the battlefields of the customs brokers. They are trained and educated to learn the important rules and regulations. Port operations has a big impact to the customs broker because they are called as the gatekeeper in seaports and airports. Brokers who have less knowledge about the port operation and rules and regulation may encounter difficulty and delay of processing the documents. And it is the end of the podcast about the process of entrance and clearance of visas engaged in foreign trade. Please subscribe and share this podcast to aspiring customs students. See you in my next video.